hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is linda in this tutorial today we're going to be talking about how to draft a perfect princess that bust here i'm going to be drawing a line for the starting line from this end then the next thing i'll do is to draw the shoulder measurements which is 16 divided by 2 i'm marking 8 then from there i'm going to go down by half an inch And next thing I'm going to be doing is to draw the neckline, which is 4 by 4. It varies from one point to another. You can choose to make it 3 by 3, but it's not a must. So I'm taking 4 by 4 for the neckline. So from there, I'm going to be curving this line like so. I'm going to be drawing a line from this end to this place. That's for my shoulder slope. So now I'll go over to measure the vertical measurements. So for my bust point, I have 10. For my under bust, I have 13. And for the half length, I have 16. But I'll make it 17 for a taller person. So I'm going to be leveling this line. This is the shoulder line. This is the shoulder. This is the neckline. This is the bust point. This is the under bust. This is the half length. Or you can also call it the waist line. Okay, so for my bust point, I'm going to be taking quarter of my bust circumference, which is nine inches. My bust circumference is 36, then nine inches for this, that's divided by four. I'm getting nine inches, so I'm going to be marking nine. For my under bust, I have 7.75. That's 31.75. Then for my half length, that's my waistline, I have 7.5. So I'm just going to be ruling the line from this place to this place. I'm not going to be including this line because it's going to automatically deform my straight line. So I'm just going to be connecting it like this going to be dividing the bust circumference by 6 plus 1.5 inches allowance so i'm going to be getting if i divide my bust um, circumference by 6 plus 1.5 inches it's going to give us our armhole measurement so for me automatically my armhole is 8 inches i'm going to be drafting it marking 8 inches point here like so then i'll connect it So for my bust, I'm going to be marking my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 3.5. That's 7 divided by 2. I have 3.5. So plus half of an inch for the sewing allowance is 4. For the under bust, I'll do the same thing here. Mark 4 inches. For the waistline, the same thing. So I'm going to be connecting it in a straight line. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to come at this end and I'll curve my armhole. I'm not going to be going in by half of an inch at this point because it's a princess bustier. 
So I'm just going to be curving it the normal way. I'll use my French curve for that. So now I'm going to be taking the measurement of this curve here and determine the total length of my armhole. So whatever I have here, whatever I have here, I'm going to be measuring it like so. I have eight, so I'm going to be dividing it. Automatically, it's going to be four. So it's going to be four here. Since I have four, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to connect this line to this point. I'll connect this point to this point. Then the next thing I will do is to go down at the underbust by one inch. If it's for a large person, a person that has bust, a busty person, it's supposed to go down by one and a half. But for me, I'll be using one inch because my plant is not busty. So I'm going to be taking my measurement from there, carving it from here. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'll go in by two inches at this other end. At this point, then I will go in by half of an inch at 0 0.5 inches allowance at this place. I will do the same thing at the waistline 2 inches, half inches. So when I check what I have here, it's automatically 2 and half inches. So I will connect it in a straight line like this. Then the next thing I'll do, I'm going to curve out this line. I'm going to go up by half of an inch at the underbust line. I'm going upwards half of an inch. This is to give the bust a little lift. I'm going to be giving the bust a lift. So I'll be marking another line at this end, extending this measurement also here. Since I've gone up by half of an inch here, I'll use my French curve and I'll draw a line from here that stops here. So this is my, 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 my curve. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. I'll just draw a slight curve that is not so curvy, it's almost not curvy. Okay, I'm going to be adding half inch here and one inch below at this side. So I'll measure half inch at this edge, this place, then one inch here. This is to give the boss uh, a firm tightening at the side of the armhole because usually when you don't do anything here, this place becomes flabby after you finish making your dress. So to avoid that, I'll simply connect this line. Then I'll connect the second one, like so. Now when you check out the cup here that you are seeing, I will measure what I have here, it is one inch. From this point to this point, I have one inch. Then I will go up by one inch. Then at this point, I have um, half inch. I will still go up by half of an inch. Then I will complete it like so. And the next thing to do is to take our measurements correctly. This is my normal bust circumference, which is nine inches. I'm going to be adding strain allowance. So first of all, I'm marking out um, this measurement I have here. I'm going to be adding it back. I have 2.5 inches here. 
I'm going to be adding back at this point 25 25 now draw a straight line like so then the next thing is to add our sewing allowance of extra 2 inches And then I'll roll the line. So I'm going to be extending this um, measurement, this line here. And the next thing to do is to complete our curve or the armhole. But like I said earlier, this is the shoulder, this is the neckline, the bust point, the under bust, and the half length, all the way line. Okay, so I'll be cutting it out. But before I cut out, I'm going to be adding an extra half of an inch for the joint allowance. In case you want to make a jumpsuit or a peplum tour or even a gown. So I'll be adding joining allowance. Here, then I'll be adding another one here at the shoulder line. This is to join the shoulder seams together because when you don't add this, you're going to push it of the fabric when you are adding or joining your shoulder. You find out that your measurement, which is supposed to be 17, is getting shorter by one or half inch. So now I'm going to be cutting it out. For you to cut this out, you need to be very careful of how you are taking your scissors. First of all, I'll be cutting out this side. So I'll be, I'll be taking out this 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 place. I'll be taking it out. Now the next thing is to follow the line and cut it out gently. Now I'll be cutting the second part. So guys, here is it. This is how it's looking this like. This is the center part, and this is the side. So this side is supposed to be on fold when you are cutting, and this other side also is supposed to be on the side. As this will have an open end at this point. If you want, you can drop this directly on your fabric, but to avoid any mistake, I recommend you drafting it on paper first if you are a beginner. And you don't want to make any mistake or probably destroy or deform your fabric. So the best thing to do is to draft it on paper first of all before cutting it. When you are cutting it out, mind you that we've already added our joining allowances at the shoulder line 
and on the waistline. So guys, this is how it's looking like after I'm through with drafting the princess that bust here. So you just put the fabric and you mark it out on your fabric, trace it out and ready to start stitching together. All right. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section. I will attend to all your questions. See you on my next video. Bye.